I don't believe the seed are gonna come up right here. What was that? God, dog. That thing just landed on me. Holy cow. My goodness. Thought I was getting attacked. Welcome back guys. It is Friday, May the uh, 13th and uh, you're watching Triple R Farms. My name is Daniel. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is uh, kind of what we got going on today. Let me get y'all caught up. So they got through planting here at the gravel pit. Dad went to Panther Creek to uh, start planting down there. Philip left here and he went to uh, Montgomery Bottom and uh, he finished up that yesterday. And he ended up going out to Panther Creek uh, where dad is. And they were both planting um, the rest of the afternoon out there at Panther Creek. Uh, today, if they have a good day, they're going to get through with Panther Creek. So um, they are really moving along fast and getting a lot of, lot of, lot of acres covered. So uh, they're doing really good right now. So I finished the gravel pit and I got enough in here to uh, go finish Montgomery Bottom, what Philip planted. Uh, with uh, I got the liquid fertilizer in here with the molly So I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna take my rogator to the shop and then I'm gonna give it a bath real quick um, And then we're kind of Changing up our program for panther creek uh, what we got going on there is and the reason we're changing up is because Some of the cotton seed have, has enough moisture to uh, come up So you're gonna have some cotton seed come up then the other cotton seed the ground is kind of dry and crumbly where they've kind of ran the dew all over it and stuff and it's just kind of crusty and dry and crumbly kind of like if you broke up a uh, chocolate chip cookie or something it's just crumbly so that seed we don't think is going to come up so we're going to have part of the farm that's going to come up part of the farm that is not going to come up it's going to have to wait on a rain so we decided to change up and we're going to see um kind of what seed come up and if we get a rain you know coming behind the rain what seed comes up basically we're going to wait till we have a good stand of cotton then we're going to come in there and uh, probably fly on ammonia nitrate with the airplane fertilizer is so expensive so we don't want to put this liquid fertilizer out there some of the cotton comes up then the other cotton does not who knows we may never get a rain you know for two weeks well that fertilizer will pretty much be gone by then and then we'll finally get a rain we don't know if the cotton seed that's there is going to come up you know it may have to come back in there and replant you could be talking about a month out from now before we get that place right so instead of wasting the money with the uh, liquid fertilizer we're going to wait till we have a good stand and then come in there and fertilize it with the airplane uh it's really grassy as you saw in the last video and stuff so i will be going in there after they get through planting we're going to give it like two or three days to let the grass recover and stuff from being run over and uh come back in there two or three days later and i'll hit it with roundup and probably dicamba and uh make sure i get a good kill on all those weeds and grass so in the meantime so i'm gonna be kind of touching up some fields where we're going to be planting beans next that uh same thing i've been doing you know the whole season is touching up the borders and stuff so that's what I'm going to be doing with the Rogator. And then at some point, we'll get out there to Dad and Philip, And uh, we'll check on the uh, planting crew and get some drone footage. So uh, stay tuned for that. So that's what we got going on right now. So I uh, hope you all enjoy the video. And uh, let's get it started. I got one more thing I almost forgot. Uh, everybody knows Granny on the show. Um, everybody sends her comments and stuff every time I send a video out she absolutely loves this channel and it gives her something to do every day she watches every video that i put out 
she replies to every comment that comes in and she knows everybody by their name she tells me all about it when i see her so um i thought everybody should know that she turned thursday she turned 90 yes 90 years old so um i thought it'd be pretty cool if uh everybody Send her a happy birthday comment if you want to. First of all, she's going to die when she uh, watches this video. But anyway, she's 90 years old. I thought it's time to start celebrating. So um, anyway, if, if anybody wants to send her a happy birthday comment, I know she would really, really enjoy it. And that would really make her day. So um, I'll remind y'all at the end of the video to do that. But anyway, Granny turned 90. So let's uh, send her some happy birthday comments. All right. Now, let's get started. Okay, so we just got through at Montgomery Bottom, but uh, on my last round, I noticed one of my nozzles out there on the end was not squirting right. So I'm gonna clean this nozzle out, then we'll fold up, we'll head to the shop, we'll give the rogator a bath, and then after that, we're gonna be swapping to uh, the Roundup, going around the fields and touching up um, places that need Roundup where we're gonna plant soybeans. Looks good to me. I'm gonna check this one too, right beside it, because when you're riding in a cab and you're trying to look down a 60 foot boom and try to figure out exactly which nozzle is not working, sometimes you get it wrong. So I'll always clean out the nozzle next to that one on either side. And in this case, we don't have one on the other side, but we'll clean this one out just in case. It may have been this one, but I haven't seen anything yet, but sometimes you get a little piece of trash in here. <laughs> Once again, tip. If you really want something to help clean out your nozzle getting some welding wire cut you a little pieces off like this it's stiff enough to go through there it just works great i learned that a long time ago and i've used it i use it all the time i keep a couple of them in my cab and um it really works great there you go let's fold up and go give it a bath
That one. Two out of three. These strainers right here are the uh, they're 30 mesh strainers. If anybody needs that number, order them from uh, Atlantic Southern. But you need it. I need these 30 mesh strainers in both of mine to uh, when I run the Penergetic stuff for the deer and the hogs. You got to have a 30 mesh. That's what I recommend. And trust me, I know what I'm talking. And like I said, we're going to be putting out the uh, the Power Max 3. And I'm going to go with a quart, even though your label says you can go with 24. I'm just, I may try some of that later, but right now we're going to stick with a quart. And uh, our surfactant, we'll be using the uh, Schaefer's Wet Saw. Stuff's working really good, so, um, and it's cheap. So I'm going to keep using it. I like it. Let's fill up. just made it up here to the smoke place that's what this farm's called but you can kind of see what I'm doing this is kind of where the airplane mess right here uh, so I'm just gonna be touching up spots like that you see how good a job it did out in the field there's no need to spray any roundup out there so I'll just be hitting spots just like this very easy to see and you can see right here also and I'm sure it's kind of it's kind of like this probably all the way around the woods so uh, we'll just basically make a lap around these fields and uh, touch them up and then we're gonna move back to the valley. Uh, I got a couple fields over there. We're gonna be doing the same thing. Okay guys, this is the uh, last field that I had to spray today behind me. So the spraying is done for the day. So while I was right here by the wheat, I thought we'd go out here and just uh, take a look at it. I hadn't seen it in a while, and uh, y'all probably hadn't either. Um, here's what it looks like. And this was the uh, wheat that we uh, planted with a grain drill. Uh, everything that's kind of around our shop and around the valley was planted with a grain drill. Everything down at Blackwell's Bend was broadcast. I have not been down there in a long time, so hopefully everything looks okay down there. But uh, this is what we got right here. Still this does not look like big heads to me. And like I said, maybe, maybe it'll have a really big grain. So let's, uh, let's see, let's see what the seed looks like. Well, maybe it will surprise me because that, um, that seed is really, really fat right now. I'm sure it's going to shrink a little bit when it starts drying down, but, um, Kylie, it's not going to be long. So we've had uh, really hot days, low 90s, uh, little to no rain. Uh, everything is happening uh, really quick on all the crops. But anyway, 1st of June, we'll be combining some wheat. Well, I'm going to go put the rogator up, take it back to the shop, put it under the shed. And then uh, I think we're going to head out there and we'll check on the planting crew and uh, see how far along they are. So let's put this girl up and uh, let's head to Panther Creek.
Can you tell he's in a hurry? So dad's just got a little bit. He's got this corner to do in this field. Phillip's about the same. He's got just a corner to do. If I had to guess, they probably got, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours at the most, and then the Panther Creek will be done. So I'll walk out here and kind of show you what it looks like after we plant it, because you saw it before we planted. Now you'll see what it looks like um, after the planters run through it. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we got. I'm kind of scared to look at it because parts of the field like this right here is just real dry and crumbly like I said. Just imagine if you crushed up a chocolate chip cookie. That's probably what it would look like. So I don't believe the seed are going to come up right here. What was that? God, dog. That thing just landed on me. Holy cow. My goodness. It is moisture. How about that? Okay. Well, let's see where the seed is. All right. There's two right there. It's moisture all around it right here, but it just depends on how good the furrow is like sealed up. Well, there's no air that can really get down in there and dry it out. Air gets down in here, it dries this furrow out real quick. So, um, I don't know what to tell you. If that, if I had to guess, I don't even know what I would guess. I wish Dad would have gone a little bit deeper, then I'd say it had a really good chance on coming up. But, I don't know. See how that doesn't just cover up good? See right here? Look at that. That's not good. See that? I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's a cotton seed right there. And that seed will not come up at all. Right there. Because the furrow didn't close. All right, let's, uh, let's go check on Philip. He's right on the other side of these woods. Dad just called and um, Philip needs one bag of seed he thinks to finish. So uh, we're going to take that over there to him. And then we'll look at the dirt or whatever, the closing, closing wheel system. And uh, we're still on the 2141, the nematode variety, Delta Pine, still on it. Okay, here's a good example. All right, these three rows right here, they have the precision planting closing wheel system on it and uh, basically it's got the two little discs that throw up a little berm and then it's got the packing wheels on the back two rubber packing wheels and uh, look how good a job it's done now it'll fool you because you think this is the furrow right here but that's not that's where the uh this little disc out front that's where they ran on each side so you got sometimes you got like a little crack right here on both sides but this is where the seed is dead in the middle right there and look how good it did. I mean, you do not see any crack in the soil. You can't even see. I can't even tell exactly where the furrow is. Because you just, you don't see anything. So that, that is fantastic right there. I am really, really, really just about sold on these, uh, this closing wheel system from Precision Planning. All right, let me show you the uh, dawn. All right, this is the dawn closing wheels. See right here? See that crack? And uh, there's your seed right there. Right at the end of that little pointer, there's the seed. Now that seed will not come up because it is just exposed to all the air. That ground right here will dry out by the end of the day. And that seed will just either sprout and die or it'll just sit there. And see right here, here's another example. You can see right where that furrow is. It's just exposed as it can be right here. And they're doing the best they can. They just can't, they can't completely do it like we want it certain times. 
he's got these birds that are following him around i don't know if y'all can see them but they're eating like insects he said they follow him all the way across the field see that one right there they just hover over the tractor he said they've been doing it for two days Got a lot of pressure. Ooh. That's why I was doing a good job. Well, guys, that is going to be it for the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, everybody is working so hard this week on the farm. And today is Philip's last day. Uh, he was gonna help us till May the 13th. And I didn't even realize it, but today is May the 13th, even though I told y'all that at the beginning of the video. Uh, so he is done helping us for now. He's gotta go back to his other job. And also, I didn't even figure out it's Friday the 13th. But anyway, uh, Philip, he's done great. He has helped us out so much, uh, helping us get all this stuff planted. So big thanks to him and thanks to everybody on the whole Triple R Farms crew. Everybody's put a lot of work in so far this year. And uh, anyway, it just helps out tremendously when you got good workers that uh, that are put forth all that, all that time and work and effort. It just makes everything go smoothly. So we're uh, we're pretty lucky to have the people we have working for us. Um, don't forget to tell Granny, happy birthday. She turned 90 Thursday, so. Leave her a happy birthday comment if y'all don't mind. She'll be blown away. She'll be grinning ear to ear, commenting back to every single one of y'all. So that'll make her day. And uh, as for us, that's going to be it. Hope y'all have a great weekend. We got a uh, really busy week next week. We're going to be changing out my tires on my Rogator, going back to skinny tires. We're going to be laying by corn at Gray Rocks. It's gotten big. They're fertilizing it right now. I'll go over all that next week. And uh, we're going to be swapping back to beans on both planters. So um, anyway, so a lot of videos will be coming out next week. So y'all stay tuned and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one. See, golly, look at that. Get off me. We got to get out of here, guys. See ya. See you on the next one. Bye.